Yeah, there's two big pieces of advice that I sort of thought of. The first one is to surround yourself with people that make you feel good about yourself, whole self, and especially make you feel good about your math and make you happy while doing mathematics, right? We don't always have that choice early on in our careers, but as you start to have more autonomy over your work and who you work with, work with people who make you happy. Good math will get done if you work hard and you, and you keep at it. And it's not worth being miserable in a collaboration. And especially if someone is not treating you as an equal, um, you don't need to be in that project. That's the first thing. And the second thing that's always helped me is like, follow your gut, right? Like, you know, what's best for yourself. Your inner voice tells you something pretty often and is edging you into a certain direction. Um, what, which avenue do I want to take in my career? How do I want to approach this issue, this problem? Which math problem should I tackle? What should I do about my job choices? Follow your gut and consult people who know you well over many years. Like if you happen to have close friends or family members, consult with them, not just with mathematicians. Um, this is coming from my experience where I turned down a tenure track job in my fourth year of postdoc. It was my first year at Santa Barbara, and it was a very controversial choice to get a prestigious tenure track job and to say, this isn't the right move for me. It was frowned upon by some people and some other people said, yeah, do what you need to do. And in the end, I knew I had two more years of my postdoc in Santa Barbara, and I also was okay with the consequences of maybe never getting another tenure track offer, but I knew I could do other things with my life if it came to it. And in that moment, when I had to say no, I followed my gut. I didn't feel like that job and that location was the best for me at that time. And thankfully, it worked out for me. I couldn't have been more right about that. I ended up truly getting my dream job, working with people who I've admired my whole career. Um, but that's because I didn't, you know, just cave into what people expect young academics to do. Typically, young academics are asked to sacrifice everything at the, you know, everything for mathematics. And, you know, though I do tend to give the advice, like you could live anywhere for a few years if you had to, like you can find happiness where you are. When you're thinking about a more serious lifelong decision, you are allowed to prioritize yourself, your people in your life, and what your gut is telling you you should do.